Brutus Clay was born on July 1st, 1808, in Madison County, Kentucky, to Green and Sally Lewis Clay. In his youth, he went to the local common school. Brutus attended Center College in Danville. After graduating from college, Brutus went into the field of agriculture. He married Amelia Field in 1831 and had four children. In 1837, he had 1,200 acres in Paris, Bourbon County. He became the president of the Bourbon County Agriculture Association and then the Kentucky Agriculture Association. He was known to be the best stock raiser in central Kentucky. He was elected to the Kentucky House of Representatives in 1840 and 1860. He was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1863. He was the chair of the House Committee on Agriculture. During the Civil War, he wanted to save the Union, but opposed abolition and the enlistment of slaves in the Army. His brother was Cassius Clay, the Emancipationist. He spoke out against the Freedmen's Bureau Bill. He did not support Abraham Lincoln in the presidential election in 1864, and he also voted against the 13th Amendment, which freed slaves. He died on October 8, 1878, and is buried in Bourbon County. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Brutus Clay. He is part of the Clay Dynasty of Kentucky, but did not have the influence or notoriety as his brother or his father did. But his story shows us how divided and divisive the country and the state of Kentucky were during the Civil War. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.